a year ago, January 1st, 2020, we set off on a year-long epic game of banana. Myself and Mackenzie versus my wife Kimberly and my other daughter Madison. Now, what is banana? Well, if you've been to any of my seminars, you know what I'm talking about, but let me fill you in on maybe quite possibly the single greatest game known to man. No, it's not Trivial Pursuit. No, it's not Wheel of Fortune. No, it's not Risk or Monopoly. It's banana. Let me explain, let me first explain what banana is. Banana is a game that you're playing while you're driving in the car. And this is how it goes. Now pay attention, there's serious rules. Rule number one, when you're driving in the car and you see a yellow car, you call banana. Whoever points to it and calls it first wins, wins a point. One point per banana. Rule number two, it cannot be a work vehicle of any sort. It can't be a bus, it can't be a taxi, it can't be an electrician's truck. If you call a, a commercial yellow banana, if you call a commercial banana, you lose a point. So you get one point for a regular banana, you lose a point for a commercial banana. You can't call a car that's already been called unless all parties get out of the car and back in the car, then it wipes it clean, you can start again. The game starts and ends when you get in and out of the car and it has either a time limit as far as one car per game, one ride per game, or you can go like we did for a year long. We had a scoreboard, scorecard in our car at all times, and we kept score. At the end of the year, at the end of the year, it was 648 to 644. 648 to 644, Team Chad McKenzie come out with the top banana award. Now you say, Chad, what, what is the, what's the, Chad, what is the importance of, like, why this game banana? Well, let me explain to you. How many yellow cars did you see driving to work today? Oh, wait. Probably not a lot, right? Maybe none. Well, you're trying, probably thinking to yourself, I wasn't even looking for them. Exactly. But now, now that you know the game banana, you may not have a choice. You're going to get in your car today or tomorrow, and you're going to see a yellow car, and immediately you're going to think, oh, there's a banana. Why? Because I just programmed your reticulator activating system, your RAS for short, to see what was always there, but was never important. And so in life, in life, you find what you focus on. Well, what does that mean? That means that if you're focused on adversity, you're going to find plenty of adversity. If you focus on uh, opportunities to become better, you're going to find plenty of opportunities to become better. I see bananas all the time now because I programmed my RAS, my reticulator activating system, to see them. I can see them in mid-conversation. I, I was on a call yesterday driving and I said banana and the client that I was on the call with said what? And I said, oh sorry, never mind, banana. Right? I see them everywhere. It's the same reason when you buy a new car, all of a sudden you see that car everywhere. Well, it wasn't that, that car, those cars weren't there before. You programmed your brain to now see that car. So there's bananas everywhere. There was 1,200, almost 1,300 bananas in our car rides this year. What are you using your RAS for? What are you programming it to find? Let's say I gave you two notebooks, a red notebook and a blue notebook. In the red notebook, every time you see an act of love, kindness, uh, compassion, empathy in the world, I want you to write it in this red notebook. I just want you to write down what you saw. In the, in the blue notebook, I want you to write down all the acts of unjust and evil you see in the world. You have these two notebooks. What notebook will you fill up first? You'll fill up the book you decide to take out of your book bag that day. Because if you look for acts of love and kindness and just and fairness and compassion, there's plenty of it to see because you find what you focus on, you'll fill that book. But on the same hand, if you take out the blue notebook and you look for all the evil in the world and the unjust, you'll fill that book up because you find what you focus on. What are you choosing to program your RAS to see? It doesn't mean that, that there aren't days that are bad, but I promise you that if you wake up every day looking to fill the red notebook, looking for the banana, you will absolutely fill that notebook.